When you say we need to de-risk some of the lending to Africa, you basically mean you want special treatment, don't you, from not institutions about, like no, the IMF? No, it's not special treatment at all. In fact, Africa wants no freebies. We have the instruments to do this. Let me give you Well, some. it is, it is well, special me, treatment because you want these special drawing rights from the IMF. They're literally called special drawing rights. Yeah, but, I, but I'll tell you, you know, take a look at what we're talking about here. If you take, for example, Benin, Benin needed to go to the capital markets to raise money from its child investors, right? You still have a risk premium that African countries have because everybody keeps saying, just like you said, Africa risk premium. We have, it costs us three to four times to raise money than any part of the world. But we have partial credit guarantees that allows us to use 195 million euro dollars to allow them to raise 400 million dollars from its child investors. We did the same also. For Senegal, we did the same for Cote d'Ivoire with $400 million to raise $530 million. What that does is it allows you to go into the capital markets, allows you to raise money long term and at a lower interest rate. And that is how we do risk investment. That's very, very important. We just did something for, uh, by the way, for, uh, for, for Egypt. We gave them a uh, partial credit guarantee that allowed them to go issue Panda Bond, $500 million on the capital markets uh, for, uh, uh, for China.